For several days this year, the nation's attention focused on Pennsylvania and North Avenues as Baltimore burned. The CVS on that corner became iconic, and now it's no more. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live in Penn North with the future for the space and why it became so symbolic of Baltimore itself. Good afternoon, Mike. Good afternoon, Lynn. Good afternoon, everybody. There was a lot of pain here, but this is the start of something new. You can see the demolition is still going on here behind me. They've torn out the back of the store. The burnt sign remains there on the corner. They're working from back to front. And by the end of the day, this building should be gone. This morning, demolition crews tore into the CVS at Pennsylvania and North. They clawed through the back wall and hammered brick by brick at the front, with some wanting to take home a piece of the drugstore as a reminder. That's like a tradition in our neighborhood. When they tear something down, that means yeah, a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, we take, yeah. take yeah, a part of it. Take a, we take a part of it as far as for memory. The pharmacy, when built, was seen as an investment in a troubled neighborhood. But during the riots, what happened here showed a Baltimore torn apart with the eyes of the world watching. Its corner location became the epicenter of unrest. Looters smashed through the doors, stealing everything they could carry. Then the building was set on fire as chaos grew outside. Police later arrested 24-year-old Raymond Carter for setting that fire, which they say caused more than $1 million in damage. They should know his cameras inside and out. You know, so they can't get away with it. And earlier this month, with killings out of control in the city, police found the body of a man that pushed Baltimore past last year's total of 211 in a vacant row house behind the drugstore. But now there's an opportunity for a fresh start. CVS says they're committed to rebuilding here and adding even more healthy grocery items for a neighborhood with few of them. Much like healing the city itself, there's a lot of work to do here. But this, too, will rise again better than before. And you are looking live at the CVS, the front of the CVS there, as the demolition continues behind it. The goal is to get the pharmacy reopened by the end of the year. CVS is also renovating another pharmacy damaged during the unrest. That one is over on West Franklin Street. Live at Penn North, Mike Halgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. The de demolition started there just before 7 this morning.